China's defence ministry has warned it's ready to go to war to safeguard its national unity and says it will take all necessary measures to defeat those it calls separatists. Let's hear what China's spokesperson had to say. The building and growth of China's defense capability is based on its own justified security demands. Its growth has always been the growth of the force for world peace. The white paper has clearly demonstrated China's policy of not pursuing hegemony. The theory that a strong country must seek hegemony will never apply to China. No matter how China is developed in the future, we will not threaten anyone, neither will we seek spheres of influence. There are still big gaps between China's defense expenditure and its demands of maintaining the national sovereignty, security and interests, complementing its obligations as a major power and maintain the progress of its own defense level. We will continue to keep a proper and stable growth of expenditure. Well, the island of Taiwan is self-ruled, but China sees it as part of its own territory. The US has angered Beijing by approving sales of weapons to the island this month. Sales worth more than $2 billion. Well, China says it won't allow the island to split from the mainland. We are willing to strive for the prospect of peaceful reunification with utmost sincerity and efforts. However, we have to be very clear that seeking Taiwan independence will meet a dead end. If anyone dares to separate Taiwan from China, the Chinese army will certainly fight resolutely defending the country's sovereign unity and territorial integrity. Well, the Mainland Affairs Council, Taiwan's top policy-making body on China, condemned Beijing's remarks in a statement. It said... We urge Beijing authorities to renounce irrational, malicious acts such as the use of force and to improve cross-straits relations and handle issues including Hong Kong rationally so it can be a responsible regional member.